Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny5 alive here, and welcome back to another planet coaster video, and the most important one of them all, which is going to be the very late, but better late than ever, action coaster contest results video. So we've broken things down into three brackets for this contest. We have the builders, which includes the beginners, the builders. We have the advanced, which includes the advanced builders only, and then the legends, which is the expert masters and legends we're gonna be showcasing the top five for each one of these three individual brackets prizes will be going to the top three of each bracket so we're gonna give out nine steam games in today's video and crown one coaster king the best overall so let's delay no further and get right on into it starting with the builder bracket Number five goes to Thunder Rock created by Cookie 10. Wow, freaking we, an explosive Western action coaster. All played off my personal favorite song, Planko Bluegrass. Upbeat, fast, furious, tons of explosions, great animatronics, fun little story behind it, and one of the rare few coasters to actually use a lift and a wooden coaster at that. Cookie 10, taking some risks here, trying something different, going with a lift, going with the wooden coaster, going with Western, all underrated things that makes the, your chances to get in the top five quite difficult, but you pulled it off anyways, and still placed in the top five. So congratulations, Cookie 10, on top five of the builder bracket. Number four. Dr. Wackapunk's facilities by Ducky. <laughs> what do you even say about this crazy contraption? This has got to be most, one of the most elaborate, wacky, crazy coaster creations I have ever seen in coaster history. I mean, it's it's colorful, it's vibrant, it's all over the place, and it has this kind of fun backstory and lore with the, the Mr. Wackapunk's facilities doing all sorts of crazy contraptions. You're dodging traps, you're dodging machinery there's you're going in and out of colorful tunnels it is just eye candy start to finish and definitely what i th i thought would be placing in the top three but this bracket was stuffed with very competitive stuff i really love this creation i think you did an amazing job with this one ducky congratulations on fourth place of the builder bracket Number three, the bronze winner. Getting a Steam game of your choice for the prize pool goes to Star Cycle Run Cosmic Voyage, created by Starry Agent 99. Wow, wow, wow. This is only placing in third. That is just unreal to me. When when I first saw, uh, this is the, the, the strange thing about this bracket. It just kept on getting better and better and better. But when I first saw this one, and it was one of the earlier ones, or, or mid to early, I thought this is going to be unbeatable. It, it was seriously just... Uh, I, I, Eye, eye candy. It was just jaw dropping. This is definitely the epitome of an action coaster contest and you did it in space. Jumping through portals from planet to planet. Done so well. The, the transitions were perfect. And there's just explosions, chaos, fireworks, mayhem. It is just sensational how much debris and colors and things that are going on in this crazy, crazy masterpiece for only to place a third place is just beyond on me and it goes to show how high the talent was for these brackets but wow star cycle run is one to remember unforgettable and uh, i was just hooting and hollering and screaming for the uh the whole duration of that creation so absolutely amazing job starry agent definitely coming out strong congratulations on third place and a steam game of your choice keep up the good work my friend number two Going to Welcome to Planet Cult, created by Nicer Dicer. <laughs> Yeah, this one was uh, one one that is underestimated, I would say. I didn't know what to expect going into it based off the screenshots. Welcome to Planet Cult, this carnival thing going on there. Uh, I didn't really know what really was going on. And then once you ride the ride, you took this carnival idea, twisted it, and had the coaster going. Uh, you even had the coaster go on another coaster. You We got a spotlight within a spotlight. You took us in the backstages of 
of the Channel 5 Gaming Studio. And then the whole the whole thing was that King Coaster himself was the cult leader of Planko Creations, Coaster Creations. But the scenery of this was just phenomenal, taking us through these graveyards, these spooky carnivals, and then to these, these cult areas. This is something that you don't really think of when you think coaster contest or action coaster contest for that matter and for it to place second really goes to show uh the amount of detail and effort that you put into making this story action-packed reality really really good stuff i really loved it uh i think it's well deserving of second place so congratulations nicer dicer with welcome to planet cult placing second place you get the silver medal and a steam game of your choice and number one of the builder bracket, the best of the best, the golden trophy goes to the last starfighter, Star League, created by Starship Rad. Yeah, this one is definitely the best of the best of this bracket. I, I can agree with the results here, absolutely. And it had one of my favorite cues. Walking down that queue was just phenomenal uh you even had the bluegrass playing in one of the little uh, trailer homes the trailer home experience for the queue is just something to talk about it was it was mind-blowing it was so immersive and i really felt like i was in the moment with this one uh, i really appreciated everything that you put into that queue and the backstory the backstory is what sells it all you know we have to play this arcade game and we get the high score which uh, initiates the starfighter league to approach us to go on this mission and that's where the coaster begins. We go through the city. Mayhem is happening. You give us a tour of stuff. Cars are flipping. Aliens are shooting at us. And then we take off and go on our journey into uh, outer space where we get to the Starfighter Academy, the, the space station, the mothership. And we learn the ropes and, and get our first vehicle. I mean, you told a big story here. And there's so many good sequences. And then you you ride off and uh, fly through space as the Starfighter, fighting evil, battling all these crazy ships to end things off with going back to the Star Citizen capital city. And it just looks looks breathtaking. Fireworks are going off, people are cheering, monorails are going by. There's so much detail here. It was mind-blowing. Not only did you tell a story start to finish, but you did it a true action coaster. It was a storytelling action coaster with an amazing cue. It was the full package, and that is why you are placing first place in the builder bracket. Rightfully deserved. Definitely my personal favorite creation as well. So congratulations, Starship Rad. You are getting the golden trophy. Trophy, the golden badge in discord and a steam game of your choice congratulations my good friend so we're not done there ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be moving over to the advanced bracket we're getting them all done in one video so moving over to the advanced builder bracket number five goes to white mountain ghost created by voodoo chili this one was really interesting Really, really, really interesting because they had some of the most beautiful scenes I have ever seen. The blue and white areas. Everything was just so scenic and serene and, and you couldn't even tell that you were on a coaster. It was just kind of like a, a, a camera navigating through beautiful terrain and you created some of the most magical, mystical, uh, vibrant experiences that I ever seen. And then you flipped the script and then took us straight into the underworld and you had some anarchy and fire and really interesting... Um, VFX where you you had just a thousand emitters creating shapes and beautiful phoenixes rising and falling from the ashes you took us underwater you took us back to the the fire areas you went all over the place but you did it in an abstract crazy way and it was different than anything i expected you created action through visuals and not necessarily explosions and and this and this and that and you created a unique setting at the same time so uh this is one of the ones that was underrated i think it was like you look at it you didn't think much of it and then you rode the experience and you went on it and you're like wow that was truly something special you can't judge something by its cover and this one certainly proves that so congratulations placing top five voodoo chili on that amazing creation with white mountain ghost number four goes to deep mountain 11 created by lone app 211 i really really like this creation it um it represented the post-apocalyptic running from bombs getting into a, a bomb shelter it's it's fallout i love me some fallout i love the the kind of the backstory the setting for this and it was super fun you had some really good visuals here where 
everyone was kind of uh, looking into the distance and seeing the nukes go off. You really captured that moment perfectly. And then chaos breaks out. You're running through cornfields. Houses are exploding. exploding. Everything's going nuts. And then you, you you get out. And next thing you know, you're, you're telling a sad story. You change the saturation of the camera. We're seeing the world in a destroyed state. And I thought that was just so wonderfully captured. I uh, Everything about these scenes were really, really well done. It didn't even feel like Planet Coaster anymore. You really captured a post-apocalyptic scene. You had ashes and debris and cars flipped over. It, it was just, ah, uh, wow, mind-blowing. And and you finished the ride off going into Deep Mountain 11. Everyone's waiting in, in line to get onto the vault. Yeah, it's, it's another storytelling coaster. Start to finish, really, really well done. And some beautiful visuals. And I'm a little bit sad it didn't place top three, but you did get top four overall. So congratulations, Lone App on Deep Mountain 11. A really amazing creation, in my opinion. And number three, bronze winner, Steam game of your choice, goes to Sea Life Planko, created by Cody Bits. There are so many good creations in this contest at such diverse ones, and this definitely is it. It reminded me of a park spotlight. You made this beautiful Sea Life Planko, took us through one of the best queues, uh, uh, basically a planet C life <laughs> in planet coaster a, a nice little park spotlight leading into what was a really sensational underwater experience i think one of the best if not the best underwater experience that i've ever seen and you you, you uh, stylized everything underwater with this really cool camera tone and then you went and created action all the way through through visuals you know it, there's not a whole lot of animatronics that you can use underwater to make an action coaster but you did it with the coaster itself we went through the belly of a beast we went through the, the the depths of the ocean and then we saw some crazy atlantic city and then starfighter ships or you know underwater ships that would be manned and controlled by this civilization under the sea really telling a whole story here and all this is taking place underneath basically a sea world Planko building. You would have never expected that, and it was really, really cool. So, another amazing, memorable creation from Cody Bits yet again. Congratulations, Cody. Third place, bronze medal, Steam game of your choice. Sea Life Planko was really something amazing. Number two, the silver medal of the Advanced Builder Bracket goes to most Espa classic pod race by Tanzo's X-Wing. <laughs> All right, another Star Wars creation by uh, Tanzo's X-Wing, placing him in the top three of a contest. You're really loving the, pulling out the Star Wars stuff into the Planko universe and doing a really great job at it. These pod racers looked exact. They looked exactly like they should from Star Wars and you did it all on Planet Coaster. Uh, Tatooine looked exact and uh, it, the immersion factor was definitely there. The storytelling. We were Anakin Skywalker in the pod race. Everything from the movie that should happen happened here. The pod race was fast and furious, and it felt like a true pod race experience. And it felt like we were on Tatooine for race day, and that was something special. So you, you create not only did you create a good storytelling coaster, a good action coaster, but you also kind of recreated a fan favorite scene from a movie or a, a fan favorite place from a setting. You know, Tatooine is famous for the races and you got to bring that into planet coaster and do it exceptionally well and it was definitely mind-blowing i really love this creation and tanzo x-wing is definitely someone to watch out for so congratulations tanzos on second place your silver medal and a steam game of your choice really well done number one the best of the best the golden medal going to a matter of time created by moomin little socks <laughs> By far my favorite creation of this bracket might even be my favorite creation from the entire contest the most humor in any creation definitely the most uh, funny and immersive creation in the sense that like I was taken out a planet coaster even though I knew I was on a coaster even though I knew I was riding an experience the way you did the voice audio in that was beautiful the voice acting was perfect it was spot on and, uh, you know, I ranted about this one for quite some time and it, it, it was definitely something to remember. You're traveling through time and this the, the transitions between time to time was instantaneous and 
through that, you didn't just... We've seen time travel coasters in many, many creations. But what you did here was you actually went through time, did something which altered the effects of time. We went back in time to undo what we did to set the future back on course. So you did time travel like it's done in movies and books and stories. Not just, uh, hey, let's just make this coaster jump from place to place in different settings. You actually put the time in to change the future and take us back to the past and alter the, the results of history and the future. And I thought that was really impressive. You pair that with this beautiful, wonderful, funny uh, backstory, kicking it off with this crazy character. You, you, you said it all perfectly. This is one of the most perfect creations in my opinion, and it's I, I don't know how you could make it any better. This is truly a masterpiece, well-deserved, a landslide, a landslide. I think this has more votes for first place than every other creation in this bracket combined. <laughs> I, th I think that's actually true. So, Moomin Little Socks literally just taking it by storm. I think it's the biggest landslide in contest history. That's how good it was. So, we'll show you guys the results at the very end of the video, and you'll see for yourself. But congratulations, Moomin Little Socks, on on blowing the audience away with one of the most fantastic creations ever made in Planet Coaster history. Well deserving of first place, and well deserving of a Steam game of your choice. Congratulations. And we're gonna be moving on to the Experts Masters Legends, the final bracket, which was very small actually. So I think what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to show off a top three only, but you'll see all of them placed in the final results when we show you guys my screen at the end. So third place of the, the Legend bracket goes to Subnautic Exploration created by Bear. Fantastic. There were uh, surprisingly quite a few underwater creations in this contest. A handful, which is a very rare, and I love underwater creations in Planet Coaster. It's, it's something that's not native, it's very hard to pull off, and um, again, this one was no slouch. You did something very unique with the doors opening. There was like, it took like a thousand doors to make these crazy animated uh, doors open up. I, it looked so impressive to me and really set the tone. And then you take us through a beautiful underwater exploration. Wow, crazy creatures under the sea, volcanic eruptions, beautiful scenery of sea life, and then this gigantic kraken, this evil, ominous kraken that's just taking over the sea and we're blowing it up and volcanics erupting and then we get out of there in time. You took us on a fun adventure through... Uh, a, you took us on a very fun underwater exploration adventure and made it action-packed and that is very, very impressive. So congratulations, Beartastic, placing top three, bronze medal, and a Steam game of your choice. Really well done. Number two of the legend bracket, getting the silver medal. Ghost 2, Utah Beach, Action Coaster by Deadeye Duck. <laughs> Deadeye Duck, just coming forward on almost every contest so far and always placing very high, if not taking, taking a medal. This um, war coaster brought in a whole bunch of Theme Maker Toolkit creations to the community. So not only is it something that it was very impressive, but it also provided back. We have now assets that people could create these World War scenes with and in, in a very impressive fashion. You used everything that you made handmade and put it into your scene and then built an action coaster around it. It literally felt like we were running on the trenches of a real war. And that is almost impossible to pull off in Planet Coaster. We've seen people try it over the last four years and it was never really done that well. And now it's only possible now that we actually have Theme Maker Toolkit because you do need those custom assets. You need the custom barbed wire and the, the sandbags and the airplanes, the tanks, you know, you need all that stuff to really set the tone where like building that stuff from scratch with the pieces provided in game just do not do it justice so you made all this stuff and then you made it come to life and basically almost made a demo reel for all of the pieces that you made to show people what you can do with this and it's by far the most impressive war coaster that we will have ever seen and most likely will ever see unless it's dead eye duck that actually 
outdoes himself on the next one. So really good job, um, you know, setting records, making history, and an unforgettable coaster in one of the most difficult settings possible in Planet Coaster. So congratulations, Dead Eye Duck, on second place with Utah Beach Action Coaster. Really amazing stuff. And number one of the hardest bracket of them all, the Legend Bracket. First place winner, taking the gold medal, a Steam game of their choice, goes to Ready Player One, first to the key, created by Happy Camper. Oh my God, Happy Camper. He is one Happy Camper because he's winning all the contests ever, seen we, ever since we've seen Happy Camper. He's come forward and just won everything. You're definitely one person to watch out for in this community coming forward with some of the most amazing creations, always taking inspiration from something that you really enjoy. We're seeing your personality and your interests shine through your creations, and that is really wonderful. The Ready Player One coaster experience that was created here, we went through the stacks, the slums, we went into the, the, the um, van, put on our VR headset, and showed up in the oasis ready to find holiday's key you told the story from the movie we get in line we're in the, the we're getting to do the race we see the delorean it felt like we're ready uh in in the movie and we lose the race and i thought that was so brilliant because everybody loses this race they can never get through it it's one of the most impossible races out there and you simulated that with the first run of the coaster experience how much crazy stuff is going on how action-packed it is and how impossible of a race it actually is after we lose the race we go back to holidays museums and we find some more information just like in the movie and we realize what it is that we need to do and we have to go backwards so you do the race again but you do it backwards this time and we get to see everything from a different perspective and that to me is just so impressive because not only did you have to do all the triggered events for one of the most craziest coasters we have ever seen for the first run but you also did it from a different perspective for the second run you made two action coaster contests matching to that accuracy of that in that we see in the movie so you you did a storytelling coaster contest you did a recreation of one of the craziest scenes in in movie game history and you pulled it off and made it actually represent and appear just like that of which is in the movie but then you kind of did it twice <laughs> It's so impressive to me. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So what more can you say about this other than congratulations, happy camper. You have done it again, winning first place, getting a Steam game of your choice, the silver medal, beating all the other legends and masters and experts out of the hardest bracket with a landslide. Ready Player One is the best creation of this bracket. Congratulations, Happy Camper. And we're not done there. We have to announce the new Coaster King. Now, we did not do an overall votes for this, but the statistics and the data we have, which you will see in just a second, show truly what a landslide this was. So the new Coaster King is going to Moomin Little Socks for a matter of time that is right <laughs> congratulations movement socks you are the new coaster king in discord the hardest achievement that you can achieve in the channel 5 gaming community is now yours for the taking that is quite a feat wow all right Congratulations, Moomin, Little Socks. You did an amazing job. I absolutely loved A Matter of Time. Really, really fantastic creation. So creative. Here we are. Confetti, please, Jerry. That was extremely disappointing. Oh, well, thank you for taking part today, and we will be in touch. So let's go look at the results, everybody. All right. Here we are at the results page. This is the builder bracket. Here are all the creations listed out. Here are the top five that I mentioned in the beginning, and you can see their scores and differences. Now, if you place lower, you don't see very many votes for yourself down here. Don't feel so bad on you about it because when we're only letting people select five, these are going to be the mass majority. They get the votes. There's nothing left over for anyone else. So we can see all the scores here. Last Starfighter 
getting 78 first place votes and a total of 161 votes and a score of 668. So there it is. You can see it all right there. And the advanced builder bracket. As you can see here, Moomin Little Socks making the biggest landslide in Planet Coaster history. This is just stealing it. You look at this, 104 first place votes. How much is this added up here? 72. You add up everyone else's first place votes and Moomin's Little Socks still wins with everyone else has added up. Now, the, the score differential is a little bit different, of course, because this is 2,000 points versus 700 because of all the other votes. But Moomin Little Socks is definitely the first place winner here by mass, mass majority, an insane amount. <laughs> so really good job there, Moomin Little Socks, and that is why you deserve the Coaster King position. Now, there is an argument to be made. What about Ready Player One? That was also really good. It was a landslide, but only 54 first place votes. And the, uh, the actual overall score is much lower lower. So the um, Moomin Little Socks's video creation, it generated more interest, it got more views, it resulted in more votes. It got a higher score, more first place votes, and it just did better all better up overall. So if we were to compare everything here, I don't know what the top three would actually work out. And we had we would have to do a top three vote overall, but we can kind of look at things. And, and I think based off of this, the scores and the numbers here, we would probably be looking at uh, uh, Moomin Little Socks as first, Ready Player One, at second and the last starfighter at third or wait i got that backwards no ready player one would get third and the last starfighter would get second but there's an argument to be made that planet cult might actually beat ready player one but i do think ready player one is the stronger creation now if i had to compare the starfighter and ready player one that's actually a tough one i wouldn't be able to do that off the top of my head but they are very close i do think moom and little socks had the most impressive story setting audio everything the complete package where we do look at some of the other creations like ready player one and uh last starfighter they they did have more impressive visuals and building gone into it. But sometimes that's not what's most important. It's the whole package. How was the action? How was the storytelling? How was the experience? And mix that in with allowing people to do custom audio. Moomin Little Socks really pushed that to the next level. So there it is, everybody. We finally got the action coaster results in and out in an amazing uh, contest, a small contest. Not a lot of people participated in this one, but those who did made it worthwhile. It was uh, quality over quantity for this one around. And uh, some of my favorite creations and experiences ever seen on the channel came from this contest here. I mean, we got to experience everything that got in the top five and even stuff from below that was memorable. And uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, change anything here. I'm glad we did the action coaster contest, even though it didn't get as many participants because we jammed it right in right after everyone was exhausted from a mini park contest. But that's quite OK. Those who did participate did a wonderful job. We now have your videos on the channel to remember forever. So really good job, you guys. So there it is. Action coaster contest to a close. What's next? We will find out. You're going to have to stay tuned and uh, see what's coming up next. So thank you all so much for watching. Congratulations to all the winners. We're going to announce promotions, ranks, and all that stuff in Discord. Uh, so keep an eye on Discord announcements and then the prizes, the ranks, and uh, uh, the badges, emblems, medals, all that stuff will get handed out shortly after this video goes live. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye now. Confetti, please, Jerry. That was extremely disappointing. <laughs>